In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ravindex Storefront on .NET Nuke. The first thing we need to do is log in as the host super user of the account. Now click on the host extensions page. Then click on install extension wizard from the action menu. So the first thing we want to install is the Microsoft Ajax Control Toolkit. Click on the Browse button to select the package you downloaded. Now just follow the wizard and click on Next. So that's done. Make sure you don't see any error messages. Click on the Return to go back to the Extensions page. Click on the Install Extension Wizard from the Action menu again. This time we're going to install the Ravindex Storefront package. So here we're going to click on the Browse button and select the Ravindex Storefront package you downloaded. So just follow the wizard and click on Next. Looks good. Make sure you don't see any error messages. If you do get an error that says you tried to access an app domain that doesn't exist anymore, you probably just need to restart your IS application pool and you're good to go. So now let's try to add a new page. Add a new page and call it storefront or store admin if you like. This is where we're going to host the primary module control for the Ravindex storefront module. Now we'll add the Ravindex storefront module to the new page. Notice how the software added multiple module controls to the page. Scroll down and look for the primary module control. So this is the primary module control. This is where you add your products, manage sales orders, add coupons and promotions. Here we're going to the configuration installer page and move the individual module controls on this page onto separate pages. If you don't want to use the installer, you can manually create the pages and move the individual module controls to those pages. In our example, we're just going to let the installer create the pages and move the module controls for us. Looks good. If you do see an error message, you can always manually move the module controls to the target pages. Now, the pages have been created and most likely the module controls have been moved but we don't see them until we refresh the page. Notice the module controls have moved and we got a couple of new pages on the menu created by the installer. Feel free to move or rename the pages as well as show or hide the pages from the menu. There are some other pages that got created that we don't see on the menu. We need to go to the admin pages in order to view them. Here are some pages that got created and don't show up on the menu. These are supporting pages the storefront uses to display dynamically on demand. Now you can always move, rename, show or hide the pages on the menu depending on your business needs. Okay, so let's go back to the storefront. I'm going to show you how to add additional module controls onto your page. Sometimes you want to add additional module controls onto your existing pages. For example, you may want to add the category module control onto your home page and to your support page. To do that, all you have to do is go back to the configuration installer page. As you can see, you can add any of the available module controls onto your existing page. In this example, we won't be adding any additional module control. 
if you purchase the software you can go to the configuration license page to enter the license key to unlock the software. Here the system expects a valid license key. You can get the license key from Revindex.com and log into your account under the My Account My Licenses page. If you got more than one license, just select the appropriate license for the website you're trying to install. Copy the license key. We're going to paste it back into the storefront. For the Enterprise Edition, you may be prompted to activate the license key. If you're running the Professional Edition, or you don't get asked for activation, then you can just hit save and you're all done. In this example, let's suppose we're asked for activation. Copy the activation request key and go back to Revendex.com. Click save to generate the activation key. Now copy the activation key and paste it back into the storefront. Click on save and you're done. There you go. You get a fully functional shopping cart running on your site in about 5 minutes. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit rivernext.com for more information.